Hi guys, back again. Just thought I'd show you this. Uh, you last saw it on the video with, I think it was one wind done. All twelve are now done. Now, um, as I said, um, probably about 70 winds on here. Uh, I think it's number 37 wire that I'm using. Um, apologies for the focus, it doesn't seem to want to do it. Oh well. Um, the wines on each segment aren't exactly brilliant, they've been done by hand. Um, some are better than others. Oh well. Not a lot I can do about that. Uh, now, that goes in here. Um, as I said before, it's robbed from a, an old floppy drive. So, if I can get it in. Not normally a problem, but hey ho. Right, so, oops, I'll just chuck it across my desk. As you, as you can see, that would normally be the side that sits on the bottom of the floppy. So, the segments themselves are staying still, and it's that that's going to be turning. It's pretty free. Um, I had to stick um, a washer between um, the segments um, and the outer shell just to create additional clearance because the coils are bigger than the original ones. don't know if you can see it on here at all. probably can see it there, I think. The uh, magnet is circular that goes all the way round. So it'll be a north-south magnet. Um, basically, as the shell spins and the magnet spins, it should create a perfect sine wave in each coil, which is what we want. Which means that uh, the lens effect, the drag caused by um, induction on each coil, as you draw power out of the coil, it slows well, it creates a magnetic field which repulses the incoming magnet. Um, that's the English version of the lens effects anyway. Uh, not entirely accurate, but uh, please don't flame me for it. Um, so, 70 wires on each coil. Um, well, I'm hoping for something like 0 0.7 volts on each coil. Um, if I get that, I'll be happy. If I get more, I'll be over the moon. Woohoo! Probably um, low amperage, but never mind. Um, what I'm going to do is diagonally opposite coils. As you can see there, there's 12, so they're all symmetrical. Diagonally opposite coils will be linked together in series, so it doubles the voltage. So it becomes, like, well, if it's 0 0.7 volts per um, core, uh, then it'll be double to 1.7. Um, and because it's symmetric all the way around, um, that shouldn't be a problem. So then each pair can then be uh, sort of rectified on their own. Um, and then basically I'll take it from there. Um, I mean, if we can get, well, I'll round it up, say 1.5 volts per pair, there'll be six pairs, um, so I'll be looking at uh, sort of 9 volts-ish. Um, and that would be very much usable. Um, if we can get more than 9 volts, wonderful. If we can get 12 volts, well, I'll be dancing around naked outside. Ah, just kidding. So, just as I'd um, put this up, um, I mean, what can I say? It's only a small little thing, um, just designed for a test so I can have something to play with. We'll see how it does. One thing I will put up, oh, Christ, I'll try and get them off my filing cabinet. Here's something I robbed out of a hard drive. Yes, a hard drive. 
metal plate on the back and one absolutely huge neodymium magnet. And yes, it's very powerful. Hmm. Don't think I'll use that. I think I'll save it for my uh, next project. Although I'm not, not entirely too sure. Hmm. It's uh, quite heavy though. And yes, very powerful. Listen to this, I'll stick it back on my filing cabinet. Ow! Bugger, got my finger. Right. Anyway. Any questions, give us a shout. Alright, talk to you later.